What am my opinion about Scientology? I mean, Scientology is a irrational, mystical cult that is based on a completely irrational premise, is completely detached from reality. You know, you have these aliens inside your brain, and I mean, it's just weird. I read um, L. Ron Hubbard's book, uh, what was it called, the, the, the original book that he wrote about Scientology, the founding book. And at the end, it's completely mystical and, and, and bizarre and nonsensical. It's a cult, an irrational mystical cult. Now, like all cults, from Christianity to Judaism to Scientology to every one of them, there's some element of truth there. They have to have something to draw you in. They have some, if you read, uh, what was the book called? Dianetics, thank you. Jimbo, Dianex. If you read Dianex, what you'll find is some things that are psychologically quite astute. There's a certain self-help aspect to it that is quite good. But the good stuff is there to seduce you into the nuttiness, the craziness, the cultishness, the mindlessness of it, the mysticism of it. So there is, there has to be something that draws you in, and that is the better elements within it. But, oh my God, anybody should be able to see the irrationality, the, 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 the mysticism, the, the garbage that it entails very early on. I suddenly got it once I read Dianetics and ran away from it as fast as I could. Again, some good stuff, but there's some good stuff in Tony Robbins. There's some good stuff in lots of self-help stuff that doesn't also rope you in into a whole cult. So rather go with that. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.